Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Now Anthony Joshua will have to fight Alexander Usyk before he fights Tyson Fury because Alexander Usyk and his manager Alexander Krasayuk have said that they are going to enforce their position as WBO mandatory to Anthony Joshua. Now obviously Anthony Joshua has to fight Kubrat Prelove first and Alexander Usyk has to fight Derek Chisora. So the plan as we are being told is to beat Derek Chisora, that's plan A, then plan B get their fight with Anthony Joshua and force their position as WBO mandatory. So this fight must happen. Now, they explained that they are taking the Derek Chisora fight so that Anthony Joshua can maintain his status as IBF world champion alongside all of the other belts as well, aside from the WBC, of course. But ultimately, that is the reason why they are stepping aside, so that Kubrat Pulev can have his opportunity at the IBF. And Anthony Joshua can hold on to the WBO belt and he can hold on to the IBF belt as well, meaning that he does not have to vacate the IBF and fight Usyk or vacate the WBO and fight Pulev. So Usyk is already stepping aside to fight Derek Chisora so that Anthony Joshua can deal with his mandatory obligations chronologically, Pulev first, then Usyk. Then the undisputed fight can happen, provided he beats Pulev, provided he beats Usyk. That is when the Tyson Fury fight will happen. Usyk and his manager have explained they are going to stand strong and enforce their position as a WBO mandatory to Anthony Joshua. Now, that does heavily depend on them beating Derek Chisora, which will happen on October 31st. So that is when Usyk will show down against Derek Chisora. And we don't know what could happen in that fight. Derek Chisora could win. Usyk could just completely outclass Derek Chisora. But at the moment, we don't know. I believe the key for Derek Chisora is to land something meaningful as quick as possible because he doesn't want rounds to tick by and Usyk to be dancing around him, landing shots left, right and centre at angles which are extremely difficult for anyone to handle because obviously Derek Chisora is a big, strong heavyweight. Usyk is a cruiserweight coming up so he's going to have the movement over Derek Chisora so Chisora must use his attributes where Usyk will be using his own. Usyk is speed, movement and footwork obviously whereas Derek Chisora is that movement as he comes forward, the power as well. The power we haven't really seen in his early career, but we are definitely seeing it now. So Derek Chisora needs to land something meaningful very early on, and often, against Usyk. But still, it is a very tough task for Derek Chisora in there with Usyk. He said himself, this is going to be probably his most difficult fight to date, and you have to credit Derek Chisora for going in there and challenging Usyk, because the rewards would be incredible. He would likely get an opportunity to maybe become WBO mandatory in place of Usyk. So high risk, high reward for Derek Chisora. So fair play to him for taking this fight and fair play for Usyk for taking this fight too because he's in a position where he could just wait. So he is taking a tough fight when he has a world title opportunity on the horizon. So October 31st for Usyk Chisora. Then we have Anthony Joshua fighting Pulev in likely December, December 5th, or December 12th. So we do know when these two guys are going to be fighting. So ultimately, Anthony Joshua will fight in December, then fight in June or July. So he will fight again in 2021 after that in December. So there will be two fights next year for Anthony Joshua. One of them, it seems, will be Usyk. Maybe the other could be Tyson Fury. But that remains to be seen at the moment. I mean, we are still probably over a year away from Undisputed, especially if Usyk is going to stand strong and enforce his position. I mean, he could lose to Derek Chisora. That's not a given. He still has one big, significant, important fight against Chisora to get to Anthony Joshua. There is no guarantee he's going to win that fight. Obviously, he is the favourite, but Chisora is, I mean, the upset king. Look what he done against Takam. Look what he done against Spilka. Many wrote him off against Spilka, quite surprisingly. Chisora cannot fight Southpaws and ultimately Spilka is going to overturn him. Look what he done in that fight. So Derek Chisora does constantly defy the critics. Can he do it again against Alexander Usyk? Well, this would be the biggest one to date, but it's not impossible. This is the heavyweight division. Derek Chisora is 18 stone. He's a big heavyweight, a big strong heavyweight as well. And if he does land on Usyk, then we will really tell if Usyk can stand up to the power of the big boys in the heavyweight division. This is a tough test for Alexander Usyk. Nothing is a given at the moment. We don't know what could happen.
Now, Eddie Hearn also has explained that Anthony Joshua will likely have to fight Alexander Usyk before this Tyson Fury fight can happen, which is strange because there was apparently a verbal agreement between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury for Undisputed in 2021. And two fights also. So two fights in 2021 would mean that that June or July date that Eddie Hearn is planning for Anthony Joshua's fight in 2021 would be a Tyson Fury fight. Then Anthony Joshua's second fight in 2021, likely in December, would also be Tyson Fury. But it seems now like it will be Usyk in June or July, then maybe Tyson Fury in December, provided they all win their fights, provided Tyson Fury beats Deontay Wilder, provided Anthony Joshua beats Pulev and Usyk. And we also do know that the WBC will likely call their mandatory in August 2021, meaning that Tyson Fury in December, when Anthony Joshua has dealt with his mandatories, might have his own mandatory to deal with. So does this kind of mean Undisputed is off now? Does it mean that Undisputed cannot happen? Well, no. It means that maybe Undisputed might have to happen without certain belts on the line. No, it would not be Undisputed, but it would be number one versus number two. Or if you want to class them as neck and neck and we have to see them fight before we see a number one, then that's fair enough. But ultimately, to see that fight between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury, maybe we have to drop a belt. Maybe. It will not be undisputed, all of the belts on the line, but we will know who is number one after that fight. Now, obviously, Eddie Hearn promotes Anthony Joshua. He also promotes Alexander Usyk, and he did say that a way to get around this could be that Anthony Joshua obviously hopefully beats Kubrat Pulev. Then in 2021, he fights Tyson Fury in June or July, but he has all of the belts on the line, all of the ones he has. But the only thing is, it says in the contract, WBO belt on the line for Undisputed, for Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. But as soon as the fight happens, the new champion, Undisputed, has to vacate that belt so that Usyk can go and fight the number two challenger for the vacant title. Now, that could be an option that might be explored by Matchroom, by Anthony Joshua. Obviously, Usyk would then be fighting in a vacant world title fight, and I don't know how happy he would be about that. But ultimately, would the WBO not want their title on the line for Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury? I mean, they can have that fight, the biggest fight in boxing. AJ versus Tyson Fury for undisputed WBO belt on the line. Or they could not be on the line and have their belt being fought for in a vacant world title fight two or three weeks before or after that mega fight where realistically no one is going to be interested in that. So the WBO belt is probably going to be on the line in Undisputed. The WBO will want that. If they're smart, they will anyway. So guys, anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Anthony Joshua seems like he will be forced to fight Alexander Usyk, his WBO mandatory, before a Undisputed fight between him and Tyson Fury. The future could hold many different things. Chisora could win. Anthony Joshua could have to fight Chisora maybe as a mandatory. Anthony Joshua could be free to go and face Tyson Fury in 2021 because the WBO allow him to do that. We don't know at the moment. Things will change over time. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks, guys.